This video is for anyone seeking an adventure somewhere you haven't been yet. Well, that's the essence of adventures anyway. I hadn't been out on a hike in a while, so I jumped at this one when Elaine shared the flyer with me. Departure time for the trip was supposed to be 6 a.m., but as it often happens with group trips, we had to wait for a few other participants who were almost at the rendezvous point and couldn't be left behind. Our estimated time of arrival per their itinerary was supposed to be three hours, but we arrived in two, so I guess that made up for the 30 minutes waiting time before departure. When we arrived, we did a quick stretch, which I believe is essential for the hike to avoid any muscle cramps and other fatigue related discomforts. Since we left very early, the organizers had snacks prepared for the whole group before we set off on the hike. We get to the point where you are now seeing the, the bridge and it's like a lower, lower land. You're going to see them like literally as far as your eyes can see. And the guides will walk us through it. So. The group was introduced to the guy. And he ended up taking us through some of the need to knows, including some of the species of plants and birds which are only native to Ghana and West Africa. That was 2013. And uh, there's some also at the supposed to hills near the baby going to marine area. There's some also there. And we have what you call the white neck picatitis or the white neck genocephalus, or some call it the rock fowl. He also acknowledged what activities like this mean to the site and how we help with making sure their work to make this a more attractive recreational place more possible. And then we set off. The guide had said that the hike was about a 20 to 30 minute walk. But I can tell you for sure, it wasn't. And yes, it was way tougher than I'd been made to believe. And in a big group, it was definitely bound to take longer. The trip was organized by Impact Hub, and frankly, I'd almost missed out on joining. However, I managed to get a place. It cost 100 Ghana cities, and that included the transportation to and fro, as well as water and some other snacks. To me, this was more than a fair deal. Don't forget me. 
please. <laughs> I said, baby, girl, don't forget, don't forget me. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. The view from the summit of the gorge is one that makes the hike up there worth every step that made you wish you could turn back. We chilled at the top and took pictures, talked and rested for a while while taking in the scenic view. This is something I would definitely do again on a day that hopefully has clearer skies. I believe that will make for much more breathtaking view. On our way back, we made a rest stop at Alos Bay, which happens to be one of the most affordable resorts just on the other side of the lake. Overall, I like the feeling of going out there again and doing something that resets your senses and reminds you why every now and then a trip like this does a lot of good to your soul.